ask that you please join our e-family, our online extended family, by following us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Please also support our ministry by subscribing to our helping us with a financial seed to help us reach people from around the world for Jesus Christ. And now, and now we're going to go into a, tonight's, tonight's service with our senior pastor, pastor, the Honorable Bishop James Chapman. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. Praise Thank, Lord. Thank you. you. Sister Julie, Julie God, God bless everyone. So glad to have you with us tonight, tonight as we delve into God's word, word. again seeking enlightenment, enlightenment from on high, high as we travel into the word of the living God. Let us start by a word of prayer. Gracious God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you again for being in the land of the living. It's in the day we've never seen. We thank you for the powerful gift of the Holy Ghost, victory over sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we come to lift your name up. Oh, God, we bless your name even now. Lord, we're praying right now, Lord, for all things to be done according to thy will. Oh, Lord, we, before we ask you for anything, we want to thank you for all that you've done and all that you're going to do. But oh, Lord, what your word says, men should pray and not faint. Your word says we have not because we ask not. Your word tells us to come boldly to the throne of grace in the time of need. God, God, we come now on behalf of this world, the sickness, the physical sickness and the spiritual sickness that hunts mankind from city to city, state to state, country to country. Sin is running rampant in the land. Your word declares that when the devil comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will uphold us standing. So we're praying for salvation. We're praying for healing. We're praying for doors opening and ways being made. No, no, God, as we delve into thy word, give us not only the ability to read and comprehend, but, Lord, we want to be doers of your word, not just hearers. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. And amen. God, God bless everyone again. So glad you're with us. We're going to close out. We're not finished, but we're going to close out tonight on this series on spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. We're in battle against the devil. All right, All right evangelists, if you'll read our controlling scriptures, please. All right, uh, Ephesians 6, 12, and 13. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Wherefore, Go ahead. Take, take unto you uh -huh. the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right. We're dealing with the evil day. We're dealing with the spirit of this day, which we're asking God to help us because we have to be uh, in total armament. We are in a war. We are battling. We're not, We're not battling, battling uh, with flesh and blood. blood. We're not We're battling, battling uh, with the weapons, weapons of, of, of this corner world. world. We don't we use a, a AK-57 or AK-15, whatever it's called, AR-15. We don't use those things. We don't use uh, switchblades and, and karate chops and, and, and right crosses and left hooks. We don't use them. Not, not in the kind of battle I'm talking about. People do do those things, but that's not the battle I'm talking about. There is, there is a battle, battle. And, and here is the, is, the, the battle, battle is going on in your mind. You can, you can be, in be in a crowded, crowded stadium, stadium. people all, all around you, and, and be at battle, battle in your mind. mind. You can be all by yourself, That's right. secluded, secluded on a mountaintop, mountain top, top, in a monastery somewhere. somewhere. The, the battle, battle will still be in your mind, mind. And, and there are two, two contestants. contestants. God, God, by the spirit of the living God, is trying to get you to let him allow you to control your, your members. members. On the other, the other side, side, the devil, devil the demon, demon that fell from, from heaven, is trying, trying to get you to let him control your members. Your members. Yeah. Yeah. And the Bible says to whomever you yield your, your members, members you, become you become a servant, a servant to that. Mm. So, either so either you're living, living holy, serving, serving God, or you're, or you're practicing sin, sin serving, serving the devil. devil. Let, let me say that again. We are either, we're either, either living holy, serving God, or we're practicing sin, serving the devil. You, you can't, can't, you can't, you can't serve God and the devil at the, at the same, same time. time. It's kind of like the hypocrisy. Some, some men think they can handle, handle two women. women. You can't, you can't do it. it. There's, There's no, no way you can, can love one and love, and love another one on the side. side. You, either you either love God or you love the devil. devil. And, 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 the, and the example of our love is displayed in our behavior. 
If, if you're practicing sin, sin you, you love the devil. The devil. Oh, oh, Bishop, if I don't love the, love the devil. You, you practice sin, sin, you love the devil. The devil. If, if you're, you're living, living holy, you love, you love God. God. Nah. Now, now, in, in order, order to live, to live holy, holy, we need, we need some help. help. Yes. yes. Our, our normal, normal hands, our normal legs, legs and arms and eyes and, and brain and, and tongue and ears, it won't help us. We have allies of our, of our own, own body, body that's, that's the, the ally, ally of the devil. devil. Our, our eyes, eyes love, love to look at wrong. wrong. Our, our ears, ears love to hear wrong. wrong. Our, our tongues, tongues love to speak wrong. wrong. Our, our hands love, love to do wrong. wrong. Our, our feet love to go wrong. wrong. I'm talking about uh, uh, feet swift, swift to miss. We, it's, it's in our members. members. The, Bible the Bible says in man dwelleth no good thing. The flesh is never saved. Uncle, I don't care if you've been baptized 15 times. The, the flesh, flesh is, is never, never saved. saved. Never saved. You, you, Paul, Paul said, reckon, reckon yourself. You got you to mortify, mortify yourself daily. daily. We, we got, got to daily be on fight, fight with myself. myself. I, got I got to daily, daily knock, knock myself, myself out. out. Because, because Chapman, Chapman rises up every, every day and, and wants to sin. sin. And, and I got to use the power of the living God, the word of God, to defeat me. You are not my problem. When I, when I say you're my problem, problem, I'm just using that as an excuse to, to displace, That's right. to, to act, act like, like you're my problem. problem. But, but I'm, I'm my problem. problem. Anytime, Anytime I sin, I'm, I'm my problem. problem. Man. You, didn't you didn't make, make me do it. do it. I made me do it. <laughs> you, didn't you didn't make me say it. I made me say it. Because what's in us is what comes out. So you got to have the Spirit of God working in you and allowing him to control your members to keep you in victorious in this war fight. All right, let me go a little further. We, we talked, talked about, about uh, the weapons. weapons. Let me just get here on the screen here. Uh, go to, I think I'll go to slide nine and just highlight and move very quickly because I want to get some. All right, All right the first, first weapon we, we talked about was the belt of truth. You got to know truth. You should know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. You got to know the truth. Make, Make you free, the Bible, the Bible really says. You got, you got to, to know, know what's, what's right, right and wrong. Jesus, Jesus said he's the, the truth, truth, the light, and the way. way. Oh, Lord, thy word is truth. Jesus, Jesus is the living word, word the, the truth of God. Of God. You, got you got to have, to have it girded, girded on you. And then, and then the, second the second thing you got to have on, you got to have the breastplate of righteousness. You got to have your heart, whether the breastplate covers your heart, your heart got to be true. You can't have lies and hypocrisy and discord. Hi, hi, uh, conniving and, and mischief. We have, we have denounced, denounced the hidden things of dishonesty. You, you can't run game. game. Uh oh. Man. Not, not if you have on the right armor. armor. You're not, you're not out, out to run the okie doke, doke on nobody. You're not, you're not doing, doing the flim flam because, because I have on the armor of righteousness. I've got, I got to do that which is right. Then you, then you have to have, have your foot shod with the, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In other, in other words, words, feet are used in weaponry for travel. travel. Wherever, Wherever you travel, you ought to bring peace. peace. You, you ought to not be a sin of God going anywhere causing disturbance, Man. keeping, keeping up, up the devil. Because the Bible said our God is not the author of confusion. When, when people, people get through talking, talking with you, they should, they should not be confused. <laughs> they should not be misled. They should, they should know, know that, that you, you settled, settled something. something. You, your, your, your spirit, spirit ought, to ought to bring calm. calmness. Mm -hmm. A, A soft, soft word, word turns away wrath. And then, and then you, have you have to have, to have the shill of faith. You got, you got to, have to have some faith, faith in this warfare. Because you, you don't always see God. God. He don't, he don't always, always lay out his plan. plan. He don't, he don't always uncover what he's got going on in your behalf. But you got to know by faith. For, for faith, faith is, is the substance of things, things, things hoped for, the evidence, evidence of things not seen. seen. So, so I need faith, faith because, because the devil in this, this warfare is shooting fiery darts. I mean, they're hot. They've been, they've been, been dipped, dipped in lies. lies. They've, they've been dipped in, 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 in hatred. They've been, they've been yeah, dipped in jealousy. jealousy. They've, they've been dipped in envy. envy. And he's shooting, shooting them arrows. And I've got to have faith up to block that so that I won't get hit with jealousy. So I, so I won't be hit, hit with envy. So I, so I won't be hit with malice. So I, so I won't be hit with lust. lust. So I won't be hit with, with, with ungodliness. See, See them, them are all the darts the devil sent at us. Yes. But, but faith, faith blocks all, all that. Faith, faith blocks it. All right. All right. And then and you got to have on the helmet of salvation. You got to be saved. Let me just put it quickly. You got to be saved to be saved. 
You got, you got to, to repent of your sin. You got to tell God, I'm sorry. You got to go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. It is still, still, still. Jesus told Nicodemus, marvel not. You, you must, must be born, born again. Absolutely, Absolutely imperative. Yeah. You, you must, must be born again of water and spirit. Anybody, Anybody know about birth? birth? You know there's water, water and spirit. spirit. The water, the, water, the, the, the mother has, has what they call the water break. break. That, that means the baby's on the way. Mm -hmm. when, you when you go down in Jesus' name, the Holy Ghost is on the way. Oh, my God, my God. I feel, I feel it. it. So, 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 so the, 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 the water, water and the spirit. spirit. The spirit on a natural birth is, is when the baby echoes life. Makes, makes a sound. sound. Yes. You know, the old, old adage was the doctor pat them on the hind side. Not necessarily. They just sometimes take a syringe and just squeeze it up in the nose and, and it lets that fluid out. Life springs up. The child screams. Well, we have the same thing. We cry, Abba, our Father. But we do it in tongues. When the spirit comes upon us, the tongues of God come out. Glory. All right, All right. And, and then, then now, now we're moving. Now, all, all those weapons, weapons were for defense. defense. They, were they, were they were to block a hit. They were to prevent serious damage. damage. They, were they were to stop, stop the enemy, enemy from having a lethal, lethal blow, a, le a, lethal, a lethal hit. hit. I, I blocked it. I, you know, it's, it's kind of like, like boxing. Sometimes, sometimes they're throwing jabs. jabs. You got to throw that hand up to block that stuff. Now, now but, 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 but in boxing, Nobody, Nobody likes a boxer who all he's doing is dancing around the ring, blocking everything, blocking everything. Sometimes we want him to hit back. Now God gives us a weapon that we can hit back with. And that weapon is not, is, is not and like I said, it's not a newsy. Not a 357. It's not even a bad word. It's not even a wicked thought. This, this weapon, weapon is, is the sword of, of, of the sword of the spirit, the, the word of God, of God. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and the word of God is, is only activated Hallelujah. when you have the authority to use it. Glory. And, you and you only have the authority to use God's word when you're living the word. Man. I told you last week, them demons, them demons said, uh, 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 Paul, we know in Jesus, but who are you? If, if, and, and they only knew Jesus because Jesus lived the life. They, they only, only knew Paul because Paul said, the life that I now live, not I in the flesh, but Christ, Christ that lived without me. So the only way the devil knows us is the life we're living represents Jesus Christ. And that life is based upon the word of a living God. Man, are you teaching me? All right, let's go on now. Now we're ready to get to it. Let me go to, I want to jump all the way, I think, to 48. We covered some I want to get. I want to get to one of my favorite topics. I want. I want to get to. I want to get to somebody that, that never messed up. I want to get to somebody that never made a mistake. No, I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about your mama, your dad. No, don't bring up your grandmother. No, I'm talking about somebody that never. That, that, that the devil came with everything he had and couldn't do nothing with it. Oh, Jesus! What, what kind of God we serve? He's he said, the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. That's what he declared. Let me get to it. Let's see. Notice, Jesus is not just the living word of God. You know, we have the logos, which is spoken, and we have the rhema, the, 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 the right now word. He's not just the living word of God, but the living word which is God. Yeah. <laughs> Present, Present purpose. He's, he's God, God right, right now. now. He, he just wasn't God, God when John spoke, spoke it in the book of John. John. He's, he's God, God right now. now. Yeah. He, he wasn't, wasn't just God, God the day you was born. born. He's, he's God, God right now. He wasn't God when your grandmother died. He's God right now. He wasn't just God when Mary uh, was overshadowed by the Holy Ghost. He's God right now. And I'm going to tell you something else. He's a soon coming Savior. Yeah, Lord. I know, I know they don't talk about the rapture, but it's in the book. All right, All right. Jesus, Jesus used the sword of the Spirit, the, the Word of God, which, which when, when facing temptation, temptation. that's, that's what, I what I want to know. You know, you know I, I am. I, I would love to be rich, rich uh, wealthy. Let me say it like that. I would, I would love to be strong. I'd love to be, love to be younger. younger. I'd love to have all black hair, and not die. I, I, I'd, I'd love, love to be shaped, shaped like a, 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 a weight, a, a muscle, you know, a, a, a bodybuilder. I would, I would love, love to have, have a, mansion a mansion on the hill. I would love, all that stuff sounds good, but that ain't what I really want. Woo! And, 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 and you know, sometimes we get excited. We talk about Jesus, and you say, man, I love to heal for well the signs. Follow them to believe. I love to lay hands and open the blind eyes. You know, God won't let us do that. God know our spirit. 
if, if I, I could, could open blinded eyes, eyes y'all, there wouldn't be a church, be a church big enough for me in Cincinnati. Yeah. I'd, have I'd have to go down to the stadium. stadium. Yeah. I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be charging, charging at the door. door. <laughs> I'd, be I'd be putting on that. But, 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 that's, but that's not really, really you know, some folks say if I could just walk water, water that ain't, ain't enough. Because the Bible talks in the book of Revelation, in the book of First Corinthians, do I have the tongues of men and, and angels and have not charity and property nothing? Do I get my body to be burned? So, so, so in other words, you can do all of these ex, uh, uh, extraordinary feats and fascinating things, but if you don't have salvation, it, it profits you nothing. Jesus put it on this wise. What profit a man to, to gain the whole world and, and lose his soul? What good will it do you be like the Pharaoh, get you a, get you a ship? Pack it full of gold and silver and shiny things, and, and get you and get your servants. Don't even don't even don't even don't even wait till till they, they die. Say, Say when, when I die, you dead. dead. <laughs> the day I check out, you it's over for you. And you can pack them in there with you. But when they dig you up, they'll find out you're still there. You can't take the stuff with you. But but there's something more powerful. Uh, the Bible said, "Greater is he that that." Uh, can, can control his spirit than him that takes a city. city. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so I'm asking God, God. I, 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 I'm not going to turn down no material blessing. Let me, let me slow that down. I want you to, man, that pastor, no, I, I didn't say that. Let me say this so you can get it from my wife because she's going to say amen real quick. We'll take all the blessings, all the money that you can give this church. The doors are open right now. Matter of fact, we'll keep them open around the clock. As long as you send it, we'll receive. But that's not my aim. I need something to help me with my temptation. Oh, I'm trying to help somebody tonight. See, that's the fight all of us have. All of us are not going to be rich. All of us are not going to be wealthy. All of us are not going to be powerful. All of us are not going to have a front. All of us are not going to have mansions. All of us are not going to have uh, 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 20s, 28s, 24, what they call them, wheels rolling, big shots. Uh, uh, what is it? Shot caller, big wheels, shot caller, something. All of us ain't going to be that. All of us are not going to be Hollywood models. We're not, we're not going to be famous scientists. We're not, we're not going to be that. All of us are not going to be presidents and, and owners of corporations and CEOs. We're not going to be that. But all, but all of us deal with temptation. With temptation. Mm -hmm. from, from the, the highest to the, to the lowest, mm -hmm. from, the from the most intelligent, intelligent to the totally total illiterate, we deal, we deal with temptation. It, it, we, we all have a flesh suit on that's battling us 24-7. Say, Say it with me. Type it in the line. line. If it ain't one thing, it's something else. If, 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 if my flesh and the devil ain't trying to get me to do one thing, they're trying to get me to do something else. If, if he can't get me upset here, he's going to definitely try to upset me over here. If it ain't my children, it's my spouse. If it ain't my spouse, it's my boss. If it ain't my boss, it's them church folk. <laughs> if it ain't them church folk, my God, it's my mind. So we need help. Yes. And, so and so I'm, I'm going, going to the one who was, was able to totally deal with all the, for the Bible say we have, a, we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feelings of I am from. He knows. See, see he, don't, he don't even, see, we like to leave it at, he knows when I'm hurt. He knows when I'm sad. No, I want to deal, he knows when I'm tempted. He knows when I want to sin. He, he, he knows the pull that's in my flesh. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had some real folk here. Now, now Jesus, Jesus understands the psychology of temptation. He understood it. Temptations are telemade. Uh -oh. that's, that's, why, that's why it's amazing. I'm going I'm to help everybody out. Do you know that everybody don't see what you see in people? That's why we're all not married to the same person. Because you didn't see what they saw. And some of you still went around. What did they say? When I look at them, I don't see it. It wasn't for you to see. Temptations, Temptations are telemade. The imagery is dangling bait in front of a fish. It's, it's, it's like going fishing. For those who go fishing, they know. And it implies deception. Because you catch a fish by making the fish thing. It's going to eat something good, but instead it's led to destruction. The fish that gets on the hook is not on the hook because it won't be hooked. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't a shot. Matter, matter of fact, if sometimes fish got so smart when they, when they see the hook, <laughs> they say, oh, no, I ain't going over there. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> no, I, they, 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 sometimes you had to catch a young fish. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't had no experience. 
<laughs> late, late Mother Burton, Burton say, those, those folk, folk that don't know that they ain't seen the wind, wind blow before. before. <laughs> but but they, they disguise the, the hook. They make, they make the, the hook, hook look a certain way. way. They, they, they put color on it and, and, and put little, little dangly things, things on it. Sometimes, sometimes they make it wiggle, wiggle like it's a real fish. fish. Yeah, and, 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 and it's, de it's, it's deception. It, it deceives the, the, the thing, thing you're trying to catch, catch uh -huh. to, make to make you think they're get getting something. Yeah. That's, that's the way the devil does. That's the way temptation does. Temptation and the devil make you think you're getting something. But what you don't know, they're getting you. You think you hook it and you're getting hooked. You, you think, think you planned, plan, you, you end, end up getting played. Oh, 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 Lord, have mercy. The, the tempter has thousands of years of experience in his craft. The devil didn't start yesterday. Right. He might have been born a few years ago, but the devil's been here. Uh -huh. and, and we need to know his strategy. All right, Vance, right, get us 2 Corinthians, Corinthians 2 and 11, please. Okay. That's on page one, I think. 2 mm -hmm. Corinthians Yeah, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. All right. All right. That's on page one. Should be page one. In order that the Satan might not outwit us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lest Satan should uh -huh. get an advantage uh -huh. of us. Uh -huh. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Type it in the line. When are you going to grow up? When are you going to grow up? How long are you going to play the fool? It didn't work the last time. It didn't work ten times before <laughs> <laughs> when are we going to wake up to the fact that our flesh will do wrong if you don't control it? Uh -huh. You will sin if you don't check yourself. That's right. Sometimes we tell other folks, attitude check, you better check yourself. Because it's your attitude that gets you in trouble. That's right. But we're not ignorant of his devices. We've seen the devil before. Yes. Can I talk plain? Yes. We all know what sin is about. Yes. Because all of oh. sin it comes short of the glory. Oh, so why are we so deceived and 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 and, 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 and tantalized by the mere notion of sinning? You already know what wrong is. If you're over forty, you repenting of some wrong now. You're living it. It didn't come with. Now life is a way of catching up with you, but we're not ignorant. We don't want him to take advantage of us. Okay, let's roll on. Jesus was the greatest. He's the number one example of how to deal with the devil and temptation. Let me bring it a little closer. He's the number one example of how to deal with the flesh. Let me bring it a little closer. He's the number one example of how to deal with my flesh. Man. Uh-oh. Anybody out there in the flesh, if you're still breathing, you're in the flesh, you can fake it if you want to. Jesus is our example on how to deal with and type in the line. Jesus is my example on how to deal with my flesh. Yeah. He's not my example on how to deal with your flesh. As a matter of fact, Jesus never got in other folks' business. So that should be an example there. I need to take care of my flesh and get out your business. All right. Some observations. The, the leading of the Spirit does not mean things will necessarily go well or become easy. Deserts are tough. <laughs> this life is rough. Well, you're in a war. If you ever watch the more movies, they don't have the soldiers uh, dancing and jumping around and having a good time every now and then. But most of the time, they in battle. Mm -hmm. When the war over, they, they go to the place and have a good time and throw their feet up. But most of the time, sometimes they're going through, through the jungle, through the mud, through the mush, through the, through the brush. Sometimes they're jumping down in a foxhole. And sometimes if you jump in a hole, you don't know who in the hole with you, but you're hoping they got your back. Oh, and walking with God, sometimes you end up in places you don't know who in there with you. You need a prayer warden. You need somebody to know how to get a prayer through. Because cause sometimes you don't feel like praying. I wish I had a help out there. I wish I had somebody. You need somebody that can say Jesus. All right, temptation is normal. In and of itself, it is not sinful, but yielding to it is. It's not wrong to be tempted. That just means you're human. Amen. That just means Jesus, they don't like to say it, Jesus faced temptation. Yes. We're going to deal with some of them in, in, in a few minutes. Jesus faced temptation. Yes, he did. But the question, he didn't sin. Amen. That's our problem. We face it and we sin. Aren't you tired of sinning? Well, the answer to it is be led by the Spirit of God, which is the sword of the Spirit. Yes, yes. All right. God never tempts us to do evil. All right, evangelists, we better go to James. 
13. All right, one in 13. One in 13. Because some people say, why, why God make them look so good? Why God let that money come before me? Why God, you know, why God, God knew uh, I, I wanted to do something and, and I, I should have paid my tithe. Uh oh, wait a minute. Let me drop this. Don't let folk tell you paying tithes is wrong. That's from the pit of hell. Now, I'm a witness. Paying tithes is right. Yes. Now, now I, I, I don't need nobody else. I'm my own witness. Because I, how do you know, Bishop? I paid them and I got blessed. Mm -hmm. And I've seen other folk not pay them and be cursed with a curse. So I don't care who they are. Now, now some of you, well, this famous man is saying, uh, you, you don't pay no tithes. Let me tell you what the Bible say. Let God be true. And every man alive. And every man alive. God says in the word. The people that you hear and say nothing to ties, it won't be long, they'll be bearing them. Because the only one lives forever is God. And his word is forever settled in the heaven. Yes. All right, so, so don't blame it on God. You, you're just a thief. You're not paying your tithes. Go ahead. All right, uh, James 1, 13. Uh -huh. Let no man say when he's tempted, I'm tempted of God. Let no man or woman say, I was tempted to do evil because God put it on me. God put me in this situation, and I just couldn't help myself. You can't put that on God. For God, God does not be tempted with evil. God does not use evil to tempt anybody. Neither tempteth he any man. And the Bible says he doesn't tempt any man or woman, no boy, no girl. Don't blame it on God. Don't come in the house talking about God made me do it. God didn't make you do it. Flip Wilson, you say the devil. I don't know what he's talking about. The devil made him do it. But God don't make you do nothing evil. That's right. We do evil, and we're going to find out why. Look at verse 14. Uh -huh. But every man, every man and woman is tempted. Every man, woman, boy, and girl is tempted. When Black, white, white, red, young, old, smart, dumb, it don't matter. You're tempted when, evangelist? Uh -huh. When he is drawn away of his own lust when and we, enticed. When we are drawn by what's in us. That's why I pray, Lord, keep what's in me under control. Don't let this wild man get loose. There's some stuff in me that's still trying to bubble up, still trying to drop the, what, what, still trying to ball the jack and drop it like it's out. There's still some stuff in us. And I'm saying, God, y'all looking and ain't talking. Y'all act like y'all ain't got nothing in you. Them thoughts come in your mind. Yeah, the thoughts. Things you ain't, sometimes the devil and your flesh is so foolish. Some things you ain't never did. <laughs> and the devil makes you think you can do it. Uh -huh. You didn't do it when you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, let me put, let me make it mild to help some of y'all out. You know how it is. Uh, uh, you see an athlete do a phenomenal dunk, let's say, and you just see yourself in your mind. I could do that. You ain't never been. Doing it. If you ain't never been able to dunk, how could you do it? If I just, if I had that ball, but when you had it, you wasn't doing it. <laughs> Couldn't reach the rim. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> All right. All right. Go, ahead. Go ahead, Evangelist. Uh -huh. Then, when he has conceived. Now, here's the path of the evil temptation. This what happens has when, you, when you don't let the word of God, the sword of the spirit, control you and lead and guide you. Like Peter, Paul said, I mean, uh, David said, thy word have I hid in my heart. That means I put your word in a place of practice. That I will not sin against you. See, the word doesn't do me any good if I don't live it. That's right. Let me slow that way down. Yeah. The word doesn't do us any good if we don't live it. That's right. Food does nothing for your hunger if you don't eat. That's right. You got to eat the whole roll. Maybe bitter in your mouth, but it'll be sweet in your belly. In other words, it may be difficult to follow, but it'll lead you to victory. To victory. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Evans. Then one hath then when lust had conceived. Now, you start out with a lust, something in your flesh. You let it take root. Uh -huh. You start acting on it in your mind. Go ahead. It bringeth forth sin. Because you don't stop it, because you don't rebuke it, because you're not using the word against it, it leads you to sin. Go ahead. And sin when it is finished. And sin when it's finished. Bringeth forth death. Bringeth forth death. You know the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Is death. And all of us are on the penalty of sin. Saved or not, because of the penalty of sin, all of us are on it. We all on the death track. That's right. But I am living to live again. Man. I'm living to be raised up in the newness of life. 
All right, All right let's go on now. Let's look. Let me see. All right, let's see. God never tempts us in sin. Okay, we may we, we may test. Uh, God may test us for approval. God doesn't tempt you, but God will try you. God will test you. Yes, yes. One time in Israel, they they were talking about you know like like we, uh, you know we want God to bless us, but then we want to tell God how to bless us. And they God brought them out of Egypt, and then they want to know why God didn't take them the easy road. God said, I took you this way to prove what was you, in him. Mm -hmm. to see whether you walk in my ways or not. God has to test me. Our testimony don't impress God. Your preaching don't impress God. Your singing don't impress God. Your shouting, your speaking in tongue don't impress God. You want to impress God? Live holy. That's right. When you live holy, you're impressing God. My God, my God. It doesn't matter. But and and sometimes the indicator is the holier you live, the more folk hate you. Oh, and the more God, God loves you, yes, you know that, that that's the way it works. All right, so let, let's go to let's go to Genesis uh, 22 and talk about a man uh -huh. who was tested by God. Yes, Abraham. Abraham. Mm -hmm. And it uh, came to pass. Oh, it came to pass. After these things. After these things. That God did tempt Abraham. All right, God did. Now, after these things, God put a test on Abraham. Now, after God had blessed him. After God had walked with him all them years, and it's amazing. Cause let me just give you a quick synopsis and move. He promised him a son when he was when he was young and kicking, but God waited till he got about hundred. Mm -hmm. Then he decided to bless him. Hey, you sang that song anyway you bless him be okay. What if he make you wait till you're hundred? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Amanda. After these things that God did tempt Abraham uh -huh. and said unto him, He said unto him, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here mm -hmm. I. Yeah. I am. Here I am. Go ahead. And he said, take now thy son, Lord, thine only son. God asked for your best. Whom thou lovest. Sometimes God asks for your only. Uh-oh, it got quiet in the internet right there. Sometimes God will ask for all you got. Abraham only had one son. It took him a hundred years to get him. And then God said, give him back. Ooh, go ahead, Evangelist. And get thee into the land of Moriah. Go to Moriah. And offer uh -huh. him there for and a kill burnt him. offering upon kill him. of the mountain. Give him back to me. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice him to me. I gave him to you, but give him back. Do you know the song says, my hands, my hands belong to God. My feet belong to God. My voice belong to God. But why we got to pump and prime you to make you praise God? I don't feel like it. Oh, oh. Listen. If it belongs, every good and perfect gift come from the Father of lights. Everything about you that's good come from God. If you got strength in your body, you ought to tell him thank you. You ought to clap your hands, stump your feet, open your mouth. For it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. God. All right. Let's look. Let's go a little. Let's go down to verse 25. I mean, two, two, right. uh, five, verse five. And Abraham said unto his young men, Now watch this. Watch Abide this. ye here with the ass. He said, I want y'all to stay with these donkeys. Just stay here. And I and the lad will go yonder. Me and my son going further. And worship. You can't carry everybody where God is taking you. Sometime when the armament of God, the sword of spirit that you're going to use, going to take you in a place of separation and isolation. Now, he took them out of the village with him but he got to a place y'all say y'all stay here because where i'm going now you can't handle what i'm about to go through sometimes you we don't know why god let folk walk out our life we don't know why god lets us separate because god knows some people can't handle what you're about to be handled the blessing i'm about to put on you is too much for them to handle they they might hinder your progress they may cause you to become distracted you may miss your opportunity hanging with some folk you shouldn't hang with. We found that out later on with Abraham and his and nephew Lot, but that's later. Go ahead, Evangelist. Uh -huh. Go yonder and worship and come again to you. Now watch what he said. Watch the words. Watch the words. Go yonder and what? Come again. No, no, no. Go yonder and worship. What? Now I want y'all to get that. God told him to offer the boy. Kill him. Abraham had enough faith to see when I kill something for God, I'm really worshiping God. Ooh, glory. I, I'm destroying something in my life. I'm, I'm taking something out of my life that God has given me, but God is saying that's worship. Hallelujah. Because what I'm saying, the God that gave it is so great that if he wanted back, he can bless me again. Come on, shut up. That's why Abraham is called the father of faith. The Bible said, we can, now watch his faith, watch it. He said, we're going to worship. I'm going to kill the boy. 
He said, but, I'm, but we're coming again. You know what? I got so much faith. It's like Job. When Job said, those skin worms eat my flesh, yet in my flesh I shall see my redeemer. Yes. See, you got, to, you, got to, you got to trust God when you can't place him. You got to believe God when you don't know where he is. That's right. That's why the Bible says the just shall walk by faith and not by sight. We are walking, if you're saved and sanctified, you're walking by faith. You don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. That's right. I know you got your job. I know you got your 401ks. I know you got this. You got. I, I understand that. But you don't know where the wind is blowing. You don't know what's going to come in your life. So God is our sustainer. Oh, yes, he is. I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute. Oh, in, right in this, let's, let's move on to that. Let's go to right, verse 6. And, six. And, and Abraham took the word uh -huh. of the burnt offering yes. and laid it upon uh -huh. Isaac, his son. Yes. And he took the fire in his uh -huh. hand and a knife. Now, and they went both of them together. Now, remember, he used the word worship. He carrying a knife. Fire. 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 <laughs> hey, wood. Sir. And, and he gets to his son and talking about, talking about worship. What, what kind of worship is this when you're going to be a knife? Now, Isaac's boy wasn't no dummy. He was about a little teenager, uh -huh. adolescent. He, he had seen enough sacrifices. Yes. See, he might not have understood when they started on the journey. Uh, uh, you know, we're going somewhere, got the guys with us walking. Now all of a sudden we're separating. You say we're going to church? Okay, we're going to worship. Let's go to church. But hey, hey, you got a knife? I haven't seen a lot of worship, but wood, a knife, a, a wood, fire. you know, generally that's killing stuff. You know, you're going to have to help some folk that's walking with you. you. They won't understand why you're speaking the words you're speaking. They won't understand the steps you're taking because the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And you'll have to encourage them because they'll, they'll say, you're about to do something we ain't never seen nobody do. This out of character. This ain't the same old, same old. Hey, the Bible say, behold, I do a new thing. So, so, so look, now, the boy, the boy caught all that. But look at the end of verse 22, 7, verse 7, that last clause. But where? Read the last, but what did he say? The boy says what? And Isaac's okay. No, the just last the last clause. clause. Yeah. Behold, uh -huh. the fire uh -huh. and the wood. Yeah. But where's the lamb for burning? Now watch anymore. the boy. The boy went dumb. He said, "Man, I'm carrying wood. You got a knife and fire, and ain't no lamb nowhere." My history has showed me every time we got knives and wood and fire, you gonna kill something. And I'm looking around, Daddy. And if you gonna be the one that's doing the sacrifice. Where, Where is this? Where is it? Ain't nobody but you and me. <laughs> Sometimes you got to ask God. You got to take a Ooh. word and say, Lord, I got a word. But where is the sacrifice? Well, you just drop some in the spirit. And I see the knife. I see the sword. I, 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 I see the, the fire. I see the wood. But where is the... Where's the lamb? Well, watch, watch it. Now, Abraham, watch whatever it says, verse 8. And Abraham said, my uh -huh. son... My son, God will provide Himself a lamb. Right there, check these words. Burn offering. He didn't. It didn't say. He didn't use the preposition. God will provide for Himself. That ain't what it says. It says God will provide Himself. Oh, good God! Shout right there. That was that was prophetic revelation. Yeah. He said God will provide Himself. A what? A lamb. A lamb. For burn offering. For burn offering. Okay. Now, so they went both. So they went both together. Now, now, when you speak the right word. It brings a calmness. Yes. When he spoke what he spoke to his son, his son was ready to go on and do what he had to do. My God. That's why we need a word. In these days and time in which we live with this mass murder, this crazy Supreme Court, this, this, this uh, 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 situation going on with the, uh, the, uh, the courts and, and, and the investigation of the, what went on on, on on January the 6th and how people are lying and, and supporting the lie, talking about the, 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 uh, the uh, election was stolen, and you got millions upon millions still saying it's stolen. Now we got people that was in the very room telling, telling us that the president knew it wasn't stolen. The president knew it, it was all a lie, but he wanted it anyway. Yeah. The president wanted him to kill uh, the, the vice president. The president wanted him to bring guns in it, and people still going on with it. You got to ask God, give me a word yes. to calm me down. Yeah. So I won't go nowhere and get me a bottle or a joint or something. I need a word to bring calmness. The Bible says, I'll keep them in perfect peace. 
the whose mind, mind is stayed on. So there's a there's a Roman word right there, a, a Rhema word. If I can just get my mind on Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. my God. All right. So so look now 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 we're dealing with. He said, "Lord, provide himself a lamb." Now now watch now watch. Uh, 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 John sees Jesus. Watch what John sees. John one twenty nine. What does it say? The next day, the next day, now, John, John, John sees Jesus now, coming I, I, to him. Well, this is just too much here, man. Hold it just for a minute. Mm -hmm. when, when you're doing what you're, what you're supposed to do for God, God will show up. Yes. Oh, he, yes some, some, sometimes, sometimes we don't understand. We don't. We can't. We can't figure out. You can't uh, really comprehend why God takes you the way He takes you. But it's to get you in a position so He can show you something. Yes. John out there. Working for God. Yes. In John out there working in the wilderness for Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. John out there working. He's John say, listen, don't tell nobody I'm Jesus' cousin. Mm -hmm. Don't don't tell nobody I'm related to him. Don't tell him I was born six months before him. Mm -hmm. Don't tell none of that. Just tell him I'm a voice crying in the wilderness. I'm, I, I'm, I'm busy getting things ready for him. Mm -hmm. in, 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 the, in the show business, I'm the setup guy. Decrease, way I'm to get everybody decrease. ready. I'm the appetizer. Yes. The meal is coming. Oh, good God Almighty. Got Go ahead, man. Yes. The next day, John, uh -huh. Jesus yeah. coming into him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin now, of wait the man. world. Didn't Abraham say God will provide himself a lamb? lamb? Now, Abraham and John, John is saying, Behold, the Lamb of God. Yes. He, he saw the Lamb of God, and, and, and it was Jesus. Yes. And he came, you know, he baptized Jesus, all right? Now, let's go a little further. Let's go and talk about Jesus, the slain before the foundation of the world. That's Revelation 13, 8, evangelist. Uh -huh. And all that dwell upon the earth uh -huh. shall worship him. Shall worship him. Whose names are not written in the book of life. Whose names are the written in the book of life. The Lamb slain from the foundation Here's of the world. Here's that Lamb again. Slain before the foundation. So, so really, what what Abraham was saying, he was letting us know that this is God in a theophany, a manifestation as a lamb in the bush. Yeah. He's slain before the foundation of the world. John baptized the lamb. Yeah. In Revelation, everybody gonna praise the lamb. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. Uh, but we ain't finished. Let's deal with this lamb. Look at, look, at, look at Acts 20 and 28. Uh -huh. Take heed therefore, Take heed, therefore unto yourselves, yourselves and to all the flock, to all the flock over the, which the Holy Ghost has made you over uh -huh. the years to feed the church of God, feed the church of God, which he had purchased with his own blood. Now wait a minute. The church of who? God. The church of God, the church which God. he had, had purchased with his own blood? Man. When did God leave? Shun when God. the lamb bled on Calvary, that was, uh, the Bible says, without yes. controversy, great is the mystery of God, and God was manifest. It was God hanging on the cross in the body of Jesus Christ. The word says, to wit, God was in Christ reconciling the world unto himself. He in the atonement. He was, he was the one that got between us and God and brought us together. Back to me. That's why when you see Jesus, you see it all. Yeah. God in the flesh. Dwelleth all the ah. Godhead in him body. Man, that's my that's God, what the book says. Woo! Oh, shut up! Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Woo, yes, it is, Bishop. Let's, 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 now, you know, the, the angel, the angel in, intercepted Abraham and wouldn't let him kill a boy, but I want to get down to verse, uh, uh, let's see, I want to get down to verse 20. Uh, look at that verse, let's see. Let's jump all the way to verse 14. Watch this. Okay. And Abraham... Called the name well, of the back, place. Back up to 13 because they need to catch that. 13. All right. And four. Abraham, Abraham lifted up his eyes. You see, after the angel stopped him and said, Now I know you love me, Abraham. In other words, now what God is saying, Now I know you know you love me because I already knew. But now I know you know you know. See, when you make an ultimate sacrifice, you really love God. Then you know you really love God. All right. So, so go ahead. Looked and behold. And looked and behold. Behind him a ram caught in a thicket. Not a lamb, but a ram. Because the Bible said God himself will provide himself a lamb. Not a ram. Woo, good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. All right. And caught his thicket. Uh -huh. And Abraham went and took the ram uh -huh. and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. All right. Look at verse 14. 
And Abraham, and Abraham called on the name of the place the Jehovah, place. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. God will now, provide. Now that means God, God is a provider. Yes, he is. See, hey. see, but you don't know. See, the word helps us. We don't know God is a provider till you, till you get in a place where you ain't got no way out. Yeah. He only had one son and he had to kill him. So he's in a place where he's going to walk away with no son. But God provided a sacrifice and left his son alive. He provided a ram in the bush. I'm talking to church folk. Hang on in there. Yeah. God will provide your ram. Yes, he will. My mm. God, my God. All right, the tempter will abuse the scriptures. He will... He, uh, he did with both Eve and Jesus. So always take God's word and uh, always take all, so always take God's word in context. Don't let the devil trick you. You got to you got to rightly divide the word. You got to be like the Bereans when the pastor get through teaching. Go home and study it for yourself. Search them and see those things be so. That's right. Some folk don't care no Bible. How they gonna make it? All right. How did Jesus use the sword? Let's go a little further. All right. Here's Jesus. Immediately following his baptism, immediately following his high time, Woo! he got baptized, the dove come down, the voice speak out of heaven, God in three manifestations, there's one God, not three gods, one God in three manifestations, I'm, I got to help you, I wish you was here, but you can do it at home, if you're at home, turn on more than one light, now you got several lights on, but it's only one electricity. <laughs> There's, There's one God, God, but he manifests himself in many Amen. places. Amen. So that's what goes on. All right. All right. Uh, then was Jesus led of the Spirit uh, in the world. Now, he was led of the, of the Spirit. God led him to test him. That word tempted there means test. Sometime coming out of great blessing, God's going to lead you to test you. Yes. You were shouting with money in your pocket. You were shouting with good health. Now, God said, I'm going to lead you the way you lose your job. Can you shout now? My Lord. I'm going to let your child get in trouble. Are you, Are you still, still dancing? Glory be to God. Let him, uh, I'm going to let them uh, mistreat you at church. Will you still show up? <laughs> Glory be to God. See, God will tell you. Yes, he will. Right, let's go a little further. I want to I wanna go past this because we're going to. Uh, let me go a little past. Uh, I want to go there, go past that. All right. Be tempted of the devil. He's out in the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Malicious, gossiper. That's what that word devil means. All right. Now, now, I want to get this slide. The, the devil, devil doesn't look like that. That's what the slide. The devil doesn't appear like this. No. He ain't going to be coming up with no horns, mm -mm. no red suit, no tail, no pitchfork. Nobody would follow him. You think he's a Halloween joke. No, the devil don't come like that. He comes in things we like. That right there. Just, Just jumped in your mind. That's the way he comes. <laughs> right. I don't have to go in your mind. You're already there. That thing you like, that's where the devil comes. Whatever it is, you like cussing, there he is. Like smacking somebody real good, the devil will bring somebody for you. Make you want to smack him. Cut me off in the car, I'll show him. <laughs> Neighbor, man. Make it, you know, the devil will bring right to us what's in us. Amen. He ain't gonna, if, 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 if you like long hair, he don't bring you no short hair. If you like tall men, he don't bring you nobody short. He gonna bring you what you like. That's right. You used to be a great smoker, he gonna let a pack fall out right in front of you. God, nobody's around. That's, that's, that's that new brand too. I used to, I never was, I never, I never drunk a day in my life, but you know, in beer commercials, not they had them cans and be about it. They have it all about this uh, uh, waterfall, icy waterfall, and, and the ice and the water's running down, and then they got beads running off the big hand. Boy, that look good. If your bishop ever mess up, y'all go find a beer joint. He'll be in that drink. <laughs> That's bishop over there with the big hand. <laughs> Help the Lord. Help. But he, he wanted Jesus to turn uh, uh, bread, stones into bread. That's what he wanted to do. We'll look at that. Let's deal with that. Man shall not live by bread alone. That was the problem. He wanted Jesus his, his, to, to, to have existence on bread and not on God. Let me talk to somebody. We got to believe God. We got to believe God. We can't even believe our own finances. We can't even believe our own feelings. 
Isn't it amazing how you can be so tired you don't feel like going to church? But you get instant energy if you get some money to go shopping. And, and we'll say God understands if I don't pay tithes. Lord have mercy. But, but I'll take money and rationalize why I'm spending on what I want. All right, the temptation was to live by bread alone, uh, uh, an unfulfilled and unbalanced life of existentialism and pleasure, a quick fixed life which uh, bypasses serious trials. We want to get out of here with no trouble. We don't want to suffer. We want the easy way. But I hear the scripture say, uh, broad and wide is the way that leads to destruction. Many there be. Straight and narrow is the way that leads to life. Do you not know holiness requires sacrifice? Yes. It requires personal pain and suffering. You got to put yourself under subjection. You got to control self to be holy. Amen. You sometimes you got to make yourself shut up when you got all kind of words you want to say. <laughs> Ain't nobody talking to me. Sometimes you got to hold your peace, like like David and the, and the word is musing in you. That's right. Sometimes you got to take down when you're right. That's right. Sometimes, Sometimes you got to say you saw it when it wasn't your fault. That's right. But we want the easy way. We want everybody to pat us on the back. We want everybody to be glad to see us. The Bible says, Woe when all men speak well of you. We need some haters. We need some backbiters. We need some folk to keep us on our knees. We need some folk to, to be a. You no, know, Paul has called to the third heaven and, and speak 13 and all that. But he had a thorn. Thorn in the flesh. To keep him down. Yes. To keep him getting lifted up. When God bless you, he got to put some in you to keep us from getting lifted up. To keep us from thinking it's all about us. Let me tell you, it's only about Jesus. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. They are that that testify about me. It's all about Jesus. Can't go the short way. Tempt, tempt to gain. gain. I'll be the son of God, command these stones and bread. That, that was the uh, uh, issue with sustaining life. He wants, listen, your, your life does not consist in the abundance of things, the abundance you, things possess. you possess. That's right. Jesus is our life. Oh, yes, Paul yes. said in him we live, we move, Ooh, and have our being. Listen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be what God wants me to be. Hallelujah. We stand upon the word of God. You've been dead a long time ago if words could kill you. <laughs> if you knew what people thought about you, that's why it ain't always good. Because you might have thought that was your friend. Mm -hmm. Till you find out how it really felt. We, we, the, the Bible says, see, this is what temptation look like. It don't look like stuff we want. And there's no shortcuts. See how those benches are all connected? They left one out. There's no shortcut. The group is not complete. Jesus answered and said to him, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded. That's that rhema word. Every instant word that gives life. Every word that speaks into your situation. Every word that God utters that instantaneously gives you deliverance. That's what you live by. I'm not living by what folks say. I can't even live by what I think. I feel. No, they don't get me. Because sometimes I don't feel. Sometimes I don't think. But, but the, the word of God, God is forever settled in heaven. If, if God, God say I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Yes. If God say you're going to be delivered, you're going to be delivered. If God say you're going to be blessed, you're going to be blessed. If God said we are more than a conqueror, God's word said no weapon that is formed, listen, shall be able to prosper. The weapon has to form to bring vita, uh, to verify the scripture. The weapon must be formed. I got to see what was about to destroy me. I got to see what almost took me out. I got to see what I was up against so I can say nobody, nobody but the Lord made a way. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why we tell folks there's a God in Bethlehem and Jesus is his name. I thank God for the wonderful saints, both those of you in person and those in the virtual space, but we are sustained, we are undergirded, we are held together, we are carried by the will and the word of God. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. So he told the devil, we live by the word that comes out of God's mouth. God makes ways out of nowhere. Matter of fact, it ain't over till God says it's over. Amen.
and God has never lost a battle. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Ask the widow woman. Listen, he, he can let a situation die and stink. Four days later, he showed up. And all he want to know, show me where he buried him. God can show up in your life. The situation could be dead, could be dead. All God will ask you, show me where it last lay. Show me where you put it away. Show me where they wrote it was over. Show me where they say that it ain't going to happen. And God say, behold. Woo, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Glory be to God. All right, the, the second temptation. Want to take, take him up to a high mountain. Mm -hmm. Temptation was to force God's hand yes. to, to, to obtain the divine presence of the man. God is not a trick. Fall down. God, is, God is not a puppy dog. You say, seek him. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. God don't work like that. God, the, the, the heavens is his throne. The earth is his footstool. Yeah. So how a little mere, mere mortal. Listen, we, we, the whole nation, if the whole nation is a drop in the bucket, what, is, what am I? If the whole nation ain't nothing but a drop, then you can't even see me. Let me help you out. Next time you go to the beach, pick up the, pick up the most beautiful stone you can find. A little tiny, just pick it up. Throw it over your shoulder and walk ten paces. Turn around and try to find it. You will be dazzled by so many other spectacular. In other words, we ain't the greatest, we just the latest. There is another model being made. <laughs> Go to the fraternity ward if you don't believe me. They in there hollering, ah, ah. what are they trying to say? I'm here. Do what you're going to do, but I'm next. I'm up. All right. To take meaningless risks to get God's attention. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. We don't act foolish. We do all, we do all things decent and in order. Mm -hmm. to, be to be presumptuous about how God gives us his assurance. You don't take God for granted. Yes. No circus stunts to gain the kingdom. Don't act like you got power when you don't. Right. Hold still. I'm going to pray for you. No. If you can't get yourself healed with prayer, don't, don't, don't even put your hands on me. You don't need to go to the doctor. Let me pray. Well, who, who you? I want, I want to know your record. See, we have a record with God. He never lost the case. Everybody he touched. And some folk he touched twice. I don't have time to deal with that. But that was a, it wasn't that he missed. He gave him something extra. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Thou shalt not blackmail the Lord your God. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't put your hand in God's collar. And, and force God, God to do something. Lord, 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 if you don't bless me, I'm going to quit church. God said, I got somebody else. He told, he told me, he said, if, the, if, if, if these folk don't cry, I got the, if the rocks. He said, he, he, he said, on one occasion, he said, I tell you what, go out and invite them to the party. They don't want to come, then go out and get the other folk that wasn't invited. Bring them in. God, the only person hard up about you is you. The only person stuck on you is you. The only person that thank you all that in the bag of chips is you. God, God just man, saying, you're, you're a vessel I'm using. If you, if you want, want to be used, I'll use you. If not, next! And, and his, and God, God is so bad, he can let the next version be better than you. <laughs> he, he can let the next version be so great that people forget who you were. You'll come and look at what you used to be. <laughs> oh, God, help us, Holy Ghost. I've seen it. All right, temptation is often a, a distortion of, of a true vocation. Sometimes it's just something that's distorted. It's not the real thing. You got to be careful. All right, third temptation. He said, all that I give you said, if you bow down and worship me. Now, in this world we live, we have to be careful that fame and fortune don't get us. The desire to be great. The Bible talks about desiring good gifts. Nothing wrong with that. Designed to be a bishop, designed to be an evangelist, designed to be a, a, a mother of church. Nothing's wrong with good gifts. But we got to be careful when our desire is self-centered. That's right, Bishop. Not to glorify God. We, we are, we're about ourselves. When, when the conversation is always about you, you better check yourself. When you always got to have people talk about it. When, when people take out the pictures of their children, you shouldn't jump in your pocket and take out pictures of yours. And everybody has the greatest grandson. Every, all of us feel that way. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Y'all looking at me. All of them are the greatest to their grandparents. <laughs> so he, 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 he showed Jesus the world, the temptation of the world. 
Now, the temptation was to use idolatry to do God's work. God doesn't need the world. Right. Now, now let me help you out. The world, the world I'm talking about, I ain't talking about hats and dresses and lipstick and shoes and hair. That's the world. Beards. I want to put you on. Somebody saw too many beards in the church. Where that beard? That doctor. Yeah, he's talking. Say so many beards in the church. Yeah, that's, a, that's foolishness. No. What God doesn't need is sin. Amen. You don't have to run no scam and no game to serve God. You don't have to do nothing ungodly to serve God. To win, to win without, without suffering, suffering with, without, without love, love, without sacrifice. You, you can't be, you, him, him that lived godly in Christ Jesus yeah, shall Lord. suffer persecution. Mm -hmm. Arm yourself. Wake, Wake up. up. Jesus, Jesus said, be of good cheer. He's overcome the world. Listen, when this world, we're going to have tribulation. This temptation was to make Jesus think you can go through this thing without any problems. No shortcuts through the kingdom. Idolatries, victories are the worst defeats. No cutting short kingdom process, no circus stunts to obtain kingdom peace and protection, no circus cuts to achieve, to achieve kingdom ends. Look, here it is. The devil took him up to that high. Look at it. There's a picture of the temple. Look at, look at how that is. Look at how that is. Took him up there. Showed him all the kingdoms of the world. We have to be careful. Yeah, and then the devil, devil misquotes scripture. Notice, notice, the notice this. Now, now that's, that's not, not the way the scripture reads. He misquotes. Please add to keep thee in, in all thy ways. The devil, the devil will misquote scripture. That's what he did with Eve. He, he, he said, God didn't surely say you're going to die. He's going to misquote scripture. You got to understand. You got to know the word for yourself. Study to show yourself approved. You got to get into God's word and line upon line, precept upon precept. And then let me help you out. Every word you digest, let it become a part of your life. Let, the, let God's correction be your direction so that the word cannot be tricked to you by the devil. is slick. Yes, there, there are people, people that know scripture and quote it and quote it so fast and twist it up and you and 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 you they'll make you think that it was that what the Bible said? <laughs> my mom used to tell me don't eat at anybody's table. She used to tell me she said she used to tell us I don't know how they prepared their food. You know it may look good but it may not be good. Let's get ready for questions. We're closing out. I wanted to get to uh, let's see, man. Just, Let's get to, do we have any questions at this point, Elder? No questions, all right, then we're going to close it out. We'll get to, do we have a question? Yes, what's your question, Doc? Now give me the question. Is that on this lesson? Yeah, but, but, we, but don't, we, don't, we don't use weapons. We don't, we don't use corner weapons. Now, 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 now the, Bible the Bible say the, the, the soldier, soldier carries not the sword in vain. If you're a policeman, you have a, and that's your job, you, you need to carry a weapon. But I'm, but I'm going to advocate any saints carrying a weapon. Yeah, that's what I told you. Weapons are made to kill. That's right. You got this. And many families are sad tonight because they had a, lo a little child or a loved one or somebody get killed by the weapon, and they didn't intend for it to happen. If God, if God came, if God don't keep the city, it's in vain. The in keepers vain. keep it in vain. In other words, your weapon can't stop you if God ain't protecting you. Somewhere I read, the angel of the Lord encamps around. So we don't, we don't, we don't need weapons, Elder. We need the weapon we need. If we use love, arm, love has disarmed more people with weapons. Yes. Then folk. With, with weapons is arming people. Here we, Here we got Ukraine, Ukraine and, 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 and Russia, Russia in war. Oh, let's jump a little closer. We got America, racist white people, killing, killing black folk. That's right. Shot that brother 60 times. 60, 60 times. times. And then put handcuffs on him. Oh, my God. How much more powerful would it have been if they just arrested the brother and said, we love you, but we're taking you to jail for doing wrong? Love is more powerful than man to be alive tonight. So I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't endorse weapons. That's right. I'm going to close it out. I'm going to get to my last slide. Let's go to, uh, let me go here a little further. I think it's, okay. 
I want to go back here. All right, and last time, Jesus told us to get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve. Now, he gave the devil the word. Now, the, the fact that he quoted the word meant he stood on the word. He obeyed the word. The difference between him and Eve, Eve uh, talked the word with the devil, but she didn't obey the word. She said God told her not to eat, but she ate. Jesus said, God said, uh, uh, you should only serve God and worship him. So, devil, I'm not going to worship you. Then the devil leaveth them, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So, when you have resisted the devil, God will send you some, angel, some ministering spirits to help you. Yeah, resist him, he'll flee from you. That's what the Bible says. Behold, revelation. When your temptations come to an end, God sends a blessing. So I'm talking to all of you that's going through right now. Hang on in there. If you resist the temptation and keep living holy, I don't care where it is or how it's presented, if you keep living holy, God's word lets us know, like he did with Jesus, he's going to send you some help. My God. Some observations. There's a parallel to Satan in the garden and Eve and with Jesus in the wilderness. The parallels focus on the world. John 2.15 uh, uh, do not love the world or anything that's in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Now, the world is talking about is the flesh. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. You can't be in love with yourself and love God. That's right. Now, I'm going to help you. The Bible said no man anytime hating himself but loves himself, cherish himself. So there's a fight in all of us to keep us from being higher than God. When you, when you really love God, God you, you give up yourself for God. for God. There's the three temptations. Hunger, craving, lust of the eyes, showing the kingdoms, mm -hmm. and boasting of what he has and does. That, that's why he told him to jump down, swing, live. The devil will get you to do things. He'll try to tempt you to do things that you know is wrong. Some folk been in church too long to be acting the way you act. Let me talk to y'all if I can. You've heard, you've seen God work in your life. Don't get to this stage in your life and quit God. We, we in an age now that's rough. Folk don't believe God. They don't want to go to church. They don't believe in no Holy Ghost. They don't believe in no baptism in Jesus' name. They say preachers are crooked. And some are more, but all of us not. Amen. That's just an excuse. Listen, there's some crooked doctors, but you're still going to the hospital. That's right. There's some crooked grocery stores, but you're still shopping. That's right. There's some crooked gas stations, but you're still getting gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crooked politicians, but you're going to have an election. But we're going but we're going to put it all on the preacher. The devil is a lie. Because when the spirit comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will uphold the standard. So God, God got a number. God got a raiment. God got a group that's standing. Amen. The question, are you part of the group? Good food, good for that, same thing with Eve. She looked at the craving. It looked good. You got to be careful on what looks good. That's right. You can't judge a book by its cover. Everything, everything that's shining ain't gold. That's right. Some things... That's a look. That's the exterior. That's, that's, that's just a cover. <laughs> that's, just, that's just a camouflage. It's almost like a mirage in the desert. Sometimes you can be so desperate that you make things look a certain way and they're not. That's right. Lust of the eyes and lust of the flesh. Don't let stuff get in you. Ask God to help you. Close it out. Jesus is our answer. We are, we are in a time and an age when everybody is going to be proven by the word of God. Oh, yes. One thing that, that, that this COVID has taught me, everybody didn't love Jesus. Because after the COVID let up, everybody you think would come back to church. The folk ain't back at church. Some of y'all at home, listen to me now. I don't want you to be condemned. We got seats for you. Come on back. <laughs> come on back. Press your way. My God. There is something to be said about saints coming together. Worshiping, praying, Amen. seeking God. Because the rapture is still coming. Yes. Hell is still real. That's right. And we've got to prepare ourselves for the rapture. 
My God. Talk talking to somebody right now. I'm talking yeah. to somebody. Your, your family, house, your children, children, your family is dependent upon you. You, you may be the only light in the dark house. Yes. And the, and the devil's trying to blow your light out. Amen. I saw a hand. Yes, Elder. Uh huh. Is this a question? Uh huh. Oh, that's a blessing. And that, 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 may be, that may be a necessary approach. I've heard that before from yes. another preacher that he's going to cut off all that social media uh -huh. costs. But here's the sad thing. You know what people do? It's like TV. They just turn to another channel. <laughs> if, if, if you cut me off here, I'll go to Reverend so -and -so. I've been liking him anyway. I want to see what he got to say. You know, people, people, people got to love God for themselves. You got to work out your soul salvation with fear and trembling. You know, you got, you got to press your way if you're the only one. Ooh, Can't make Jesus. Can't but, but the Bible lets me know where two or three is gathered. That's where the Lord is in the midst of us. Even tonight, the Lord is in the midst. Amen. Amen. Any other questions? We're closing tonight. Any other questions? Anyone else? Anyone else? Any other questions? Anyone else? finish all that. All right. all right. We thank God for you tonight. Thank God for all you. For those listening, we thank you for tuning tonight. We want to make an altar call to those outside of the ark of safety. We want to let you know that there is a way to be saved. This living word of God. God came in the form of Jesus Christ, died on the cross, rose again on the third day to deliver us from our sin. He told them on the, to go down to Jerusalem and wait until they be endowed with power from on high. 120 were in there, including the mother of Jesus. They waited until they came like a sound of a rushing mighty wind. Feel the whole house where they were sitting. Cloven tongues like a fire set on each of them. And they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit of God gave utterance. Whole city heard it. People from all over the world heard it. That city had people there from all over the world. They heard them, everybody speaking in their language. And the Bible says they came in and questioned them. How can these people be Galileans all be speaking our language? Then, then Peter, Peter began, began to preach. He, he preached Jesus. He, he preached Jesus so until they, they said, they, they got pricked, pricked in the heart. They became convicted. They realized, I need God. And they said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So we're telling you, the promise is still there. The Bible says, whosoever will, let him come. The promise is unto you, and to as many of the Lord our God shall call. So come. Call us. Our toll-free numbers is on the screen, I believe. Or they're going to put them up momentarily. But call us. If you're, if you're in uh, uh, a Facebook or a YouTube uh, viewer, call us. We'll help you. People are still getting baptized. People are still getting the Holy Ghost. We had two to get baptized Sunday. Two men went down in Jesus' name. God is real. The power of God is real. The Holy Ghost is real. Speaking in tongues is real. Water baptism in Jesus' name is real. Living holy is real. Don't let the devil trick you. Don't let the enemy fool you. Don't let fake folk trick you. God is still working miracles in lives of saints. So call us, call us, call us. We'll have prayer warriors online ready to talk to you about the plan of salvation. Ready. Ready. To give you the advice you need to walk out of sin and to walk into this marvelous light. Your child needs it. Your son, your daughter, your spouse needs it. Your neighborhood is waiting on you. You can be that light shining in a dark place. Call us, call us, call us. We trust the word has been fruitful to you. We enjoyed this series of spiritual warfare. And we thank you for all that has been participating. And now it's offering time here at the temple. We believe in what the Bible says. This is worship. Anytime you give, it's worship. It's worship. We have four ways of giving. We have Giveify. We have online giving. We have by mail, and we have in-person giving. Use whichever one of the four ways you want to use. They're on the screen. 
Church, church needs your finances. I'm going to tell you, I'm not, I'm not going to play no games. I'm going to tell the truth. The church operates off your finances. It's a blessing. That's, the, that's God's plan to uh, take care of his church. It's through the giving of tithe and offering. Amen. The Bible said, will a man rob God? I'm going to tell you, you, it didn't say, will a man rob a man? It said, will a man rob God? And it talks about the whole nation has robbed God. The whole nation. That's why we have so much trouble in this country. This country has robbed God. The Bible said, bring all the tithes in the storehouse, tithes and offerings, and prove me that with, when I open the wonders of heaven and pour you out a blessing, you won't have room enough to receive. I'm speaking to you. You need, you need a blessing, pay your tithes. You need, you need a dope and make that offering. I'm a witness. I've got witnesses all over that will tell you that there is truth in paying tithes. It is a reality. God honors his word. God stands behind his word. Another one of our favorite scriptures is, it says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Everybody wants to receive. Everybody wants to get. But you, but you got to start by giving. It's the act of faith. I got to believe God so much so that I'm going to give because God said he's going to give to me. Some people operate from, I'm going to give to God as soon as I get it. You'll never get it. It starts with giving what you have. I ain't got much. He didn't ask for much. He just asked for what you have. Jesus took the little boy with the, with the fish and loaves. Y'all remember the story? 5,000 men, let alone the, men, the women and children. And Little boy said, I ain't got nothing but a lunch. Just let me have it. He took it and started breaking it. Every time he broke it, it multiplied. I got a message right there. Every time God breaks me, he's going to multiply me. Ooh. Every time you put what you have in God's hand and let God break that finance, it's going to multiply back to you. And the Bible said when they fed all those people, they had 12 baskets left over. But it starts by giving. So I want to encourage everyone to give. And be blessed. We thank you. God bless you. Now, don't forget. Don't forget the 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 uh, the PCAFI Holy Convocation is coming up uh, next, starting next Friday, the 21st through the 26th in Palm Springs, California. Who we gonna have a time? Powerful preaching, powerful singing. Our presider will be preaching, and then also the presider of the PAW, Bishop Brooks, will be preaching. My God, we got young, uh, we got uh, Pastor Sears for the young people. Oh, we got uh, Evangelist Bridges will be preaching. Oh, we're going to have a time. We're going Bishop Titus Stewart will be preaching. We're going to have some church, all kind of seminars, all kind of classes that are, that are designed to, to, give, to give motivation, to give innovation, it's designed to help you become more efficient in becoming what God wants you to be. They are the kind of classes that you can make and take. In other words, the application applications that will be presented will be able, you can instantaneously take them back to your local churches and your assemblies and put them to work. So you got this on that, and it's, it's a hybrid uh, convention, which means if you can't travel all the way to Palm Springs, don't worry. Register at pcfi.org. Register. $45, and you will get on the virtual space. And the virtual space, you won't miss a thing. You won't miss a class. You won't miss a presentation. You won't miss a seminar. You won't miss a night service. You won't miss the singing. You won't miss the concert. Oh, they got a concert, too. Ooh, they got J.J. Harrison. My God, we're going to have a time. We're going to have a time. We're going to have a time. So please, 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 please go to PCAF.org and register for the uh, PCAF, uh, 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 PCAFI uh, National Convention in Palm Springs, California. God bless you. In the hands of the announcer. Thank you, Bishop. And remember, the 65th Annual International Holy Convocation will be, as Bishop said, in Palm Springs, California, July the 22nd through the 27th, 2022. Six days of impactful worship, seminars, events, and fellowship. This is in person and virtual, so register now. Welcome back to the in-person gathering at the Renaissance Esmeralda Indian Wells Resort and Spa and the Hyatt Regency Indian Wells Resort and Spa. This is in Palm Springs, California. Registration is only $45. Go to www.pcafiinc.org. Looking to see you there.
And we thank you again for watching tonight's live broadcast, a production of the GBTAC Media Ministry. We thank you.